Good morning, good morning, Encourage Me Fam. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are, you know, being uh, sweet and enjoying the beautiful day. You know, the day has started already. I believe it's about 8 30 or a little after 8 30 now, but God is good, you know, as always. I have a testimony for y'all. I have a testimony for y'all because you know what? You see, when God gives us these testimonies, we ought to talk about His goodness. We ought to talk about His grace. And we ought to talk about the amazing things that He has done for us. Because when we talk about them, somebody can hear and somebody can be reassured, be strengthened, you know, to go on and fulfill purpose. So, the testimony that I have for y'all is this, you know, yesterday I took the day off at work um, because, uh, because I had a, a lot to do. I had, you know, two assignments, one major one, and the other one was like an um, like exercise that I had to do, and that one requires, required a lot from me and you know some family and all that type of stuff my brain is not much savvy and so when when the teacher asks us to do all of these things even though the course is not a math course um you still have to do some of them stuff right and so uh the course that i'm doing actually is critical thinking and to, to critically think you know, a lot of people oftentimes use the word, I use the term that I'm good at critical thinking. But when I started doing this course, I realized that critical thinking is more than just, you know, thinking that the situation over there, it can be solved by doing X, Y, Z. It's more than that. You have to actually reason the thing out and see if it's valid or invalid. And see, you know, you get me. See if the argument consistent, inconsistent, and all these type of stuff. You understand? And so, um, I had that exercise to do, and plus I had another major one to do, um, where I had to talk about, uh, where I had to talk about my. The oppressions that I hold and the privilege that I, that I currently hold that you know will impact the work that I do in the field right and then I have to come up with strategies um, how to tackle the unbiases that I that I currently have you know what I mean and so I had to do all of that and so when I Hold on, one of the students that comes. Yeah, guys. So he actually came off the bus and walked towards me. Um, you know, and we chatted. You know, I pray that he passes math test because he's really worried about that. But you know, the testimony that I have for you is that God is good. And this week we're looking at the theme "You're Not Alone" on our devotion, and really, it's very encouraging because we are not alone and we have to understand that god is always there with us in times of difficulties in times when we are feeling you know bombarded with so much and you know last night i had the the assignment to submit i finished it mind you yesterday i was doing it and i felt like i was like stuck like what am i doing and at one point when it was getting too much i yelled out god help me I, I i don't know where it came from but i just had to yell it out so that i i would be able to get that relief and after i yelled it out i i felt such a great relief and i started writing and again um while i was writing it felt like i was getting confused and this is like something that I, I know about, like oppression, privilege. Like I can talk about that in my sleep. Like I, like I can talk about it. And, and so while I was like talking about that, you know, um, I felt like what I was doing, like I, I kept reading the rubric. I kept reading question. And it felt like so confusing because guess what? I, I, I did not sleep well. I had been up 
two nights in a row. I, apparently, I, I think about three nights in a row trying to get the, the paper together and all that type of stuff. And so, while I was um, doing it, the, 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 the pressure came in and I had to yell though, God help me. And so, after I was like sitting there, um, get everything ready now, organized, um, I, I called my friend uh, Tidra. You know to help me edit the, the paper and after we edited it I still had a good amount of time to submit it because it was supposed to be submitted at 11 59 and we finished pretty early I think it was about 10 30 I saw we finished yeah I think something like that and then but the thing is um I had to put the reference in so while I was putting the reference in um it, it was like, <laughs> it was so much reference I had to put in. And then, right then, my computer shut off. It shut right off. And it wouldn't turn on. Usually, me, knowing me, I would start to panic. And my anxiety, you know, will start to get like, ooh, crazy. And then, um, so I started there and, and I got up off the thing and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's 11 o'clock. My computer just died. It shut down. So I thought it was like it needed to charge, but I had it on the charge and it was working perfectly fine. And so while I, I was there doing the, 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 the computer trying to get it to start, I got up from around the table and I started walking and then the Holy Spirit calmed me down and he reassured me that everything was going to be all right. I'm going to submit this paper. And so um, I, a thought came to me and said, you know what, even if I, my computer don't turn on, I, I don't have to worry too much because Tidra had a copy of the, the assignment, right? And so um, I, I got that reassurance and then I started pressing back the, the startup button and then finally it came on and I was able to add in a few more reference. There are still some that I couldn't get to put in because the time was going down and I fixed up everything and I submitted about 11.57 and I, you know, submitted. And after I submitted, I was, I was going down and then the ruby, I wrote the conclusion and then the, the when I was looking at the conclusion, I'm like, did I, did I put, did I put enough on the conclusion oh my goodness would would this sort of like give me the um the full mark and then after i was trying to edit the conclusion the computer died again and mind you i was sort of now becoming drained my eyes were like becoming foggy because i had been working all day all morning from i got up from my bed i have been working on the paper but God made it sure that I was able to submit it and everything was fine. And so I prayed and I left it in the hands of God. And why am I testifying about this? I'm testifying about the goodness of God. I'm testifying that God brought my um, computer. He brought it back to life. And I was able to, you know, do it and, and uh, submit the, the assignment, submit it on time. And he was able to... Morning. He was able to help me to get it, um, get it done. And so, I just want to use this moment or use this opportunity to encourage you, to to remind you that you know whatever you're doing, if you feel like, you know, the thing that you're doing right now and it's like too much and it's too heavy and it feels like oh my goodness, I'm going to fail at this thing just remember that you are not alone god is there with you god was there with me last night and i was able to get all oh, the pictures of the kids oh lordy look at the top <laughs> god was able to help me to get um get the, the assignment submitted and so just remember that he can help you in times of difficulty in times when you feel um, bombarded and feel pressured and you know I, I, I'm, I'm not even work, like I have so much um, thing to do I have a final coming up next week and I have many more assignments to do for the over the weekend so I'm pretty loaded and so um, 
I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to trust God that he's going to make the computer work because I can't use it without it plugged in. And if, if it's too hot, it's going to um, shut down. That's what it, that, that's what happened to it last night. It, it got too hot and then it just shut down. And so take this moment to trust God in everything that you do. This morning when I got up, I felt so happy. I got a lovely message from someone special and um, it just reassured my heart and just reassured me that you know there is purpose for me to do and there is more for me to do on this heart and so God is always there with with us in times of difficulty I gotta run because as you can hear the kids in the background my beauty starts but I just had to leave this word of encouragement with you to not give up on your goals not give up on your dream to not give up on what God has set out for you remember he's still doing the thing today what he has done in the past he's still doing it today he, he is still encouraging us today he is still healing us today he is still strengthening us today he is still helping us to see a bright side of our situation and so just continue to give him all the praise that is due unto his matchless name i hope you got something from my testimony god brought my computer back to life that's so I was able to, to submit my assignment. That kind of funny though, but he he, was, he brought it back to life because it was dead. <laughs> and so just just be reassured today and just continue to trust God. Amen. God bless you and stay safe and continue to be encouraged because you are not forgotten. You are not alone. God bless you.